One problem is that, you see, even at the time of death, before you go into the three evil paths, just before that, even if you remember Buddha's name, just one Buddha's name, or one sentence from here, then, then the, the road to hell is closed for you, even if you've done a lot of bad things. Everything is illusion anyway, killing, stealing, robbing, it is all back and forth, karma in the cycle of uh, revenge and back and forth, each other. So therefore, the name of the Buddha is true, you know, at least truer than those uh, karmic consequences. So if you re repeat the names of the Buddha, meaning your mind, your thinking are toward the truth instead of toward the fake, then immediately the hell and all the bad destiny close in front of you. So at least you are saved for that life. And then you will be born in, maybe in heaven or a human being, but then who knows the next life if you even remember the Buddha's name again, if nobody, anybody reminds you again, okay? It's not like all the person on the planet, the planet know the names of these Buddhas. Even though Buddhism is spreading everywhere, but most of the Buddhist monks, they are modest, you see? Yeah. If you offer them something, then they take it. If you don't offer, they don't do anything. If you build a temple, help them build a temple, then they accept and they stay there. And uh, if, you want to, if you come and ask them about Buddhist Sutra, then they will tell you. If you don't ask, they also don't tell. They're not like outgoing, getting, make lecture everywhere. Everybody knows the Buddha's name. You see what I mean? Yeah. Therefore, even to know the Buddha's name is very difficult already. And then, okay, you are rescued that lifetime when you die, and then you are not going to hell, but you don't know next life, okay? Suppose you even know the names of the Buddha. When you are dying, you know, all the karma come and tear you apart. Your thought, your body is all in pain, mostly if you are very sinful in when you are alive, then when you die, it's very suffering. And maybe you can't even remember the name of the Buddha. So at least just say, pray to all the Buddhas in a ten direction. Please rescue me. Just say that, because the names are sometimes difficult, you know. So just remember one name, maybe Sekamoni Buddha, Medicine Buddha, <laughs> Earth Star Bodhisattva, this simple name, okay? Or Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, tell them that. That's why uh, many people just tell, tell the outside lay people to recite Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, you know? <laughs> or or Sekamoni, you know, it's easier because they are famous. Or Amitabha, understand? Otherwise, all the names of other Buddha is very difficult to remember all. Or one name is enough. It's just only the difficulty is that only if you remember it at the time of dying, or anyone reminds you of that, that is a problem. But I also sing, I sing this song, Namo Amitabha Buddha, in Chinese. That's also good. You just give it to them, to the Buddhists. They don't mind, they accept it. They don't care about me, about my teaching, but they know I'm singing the Buddha's name. That will be okay in their ears. That's why I sing it, okay? Even the Catholic heard it, okay too. The Sikh heard it, okay too. It's still the name of the Buddha. The Buddhas don't care if you're Sikh or if you're Hindu. They're all the same up there. They're all friends, you know? The Sikh guru is also a Buddha. Yeah, the Hindu master also a Buddha. So it doesn't matter. You just one tape like that, it's okay. That is why there is a tradition when people die, they invite the priests. Some don't even know why. But when they come, they read the names of Jesus Christ, for example, you know? Yeah. Or they read the name of what the, some Hindu masters or some Sikh guru. Then you heard the name of the Buddha when you die. That's a Buddha, any Buddha. Then you also rescue that moment from hellfire. Once you're out of it, it's, then you have more chance to, to improve and then to be rescued more later. If you're in hell already, then you stay there until you don't know when.
until your sin is finished. Once the sentence already passed down, it's very difficult, very difficult. Unless you have a living master already initiated, maybe. Yeah, it depends also on the power of that master and on the sin that you made. You think, okay, it's one name of the Buddha, I remember. Even if you're not initiated, you say you remember. But at the time of death, maybe not. Just on the verge of death, you have to recite it then. Or before you go into hell, at the hell gate, you must recite it then. <laughs> In the 49 days, if people keep repeating it to you, then maybe you're okay. But if not, then this is so much suffering there. You, you, you heard it, right? It's terrible, terrible. And when it's forever, forever, forever like that, then it's really, really, I don't know how anyone could even fall into that and bear it. Sometimes you're sick, you have headache, just two, three hours, and you can bear already. Imagine, huh? Or you operate it, or you cut yourself, or wounded, or have to bandage, or cast, you know, in cast, and you're terrible already. Imagine anything else, forever, forever like that, day and night, non-stop. Oh, God. It is precious to be human, but it's a curse also. It depends on how you take care of your life. Very difficult to go on the right path because survival leads you to every opposite or bad directions which you don't even want. But then slowly you go in there and you can't go out anymore. You don't remember even how to get out. Survival make you do many things. And even when you die, if you don't have a master or if you don't have somebody read sutras or remind you the name of the Buddha, many of the girls who come and, you know, in these forty-nine days or when you are dying, they come and appear like your, your dead father or your past mother or brother, sister, auntie, whatever, they come and say, Hey, come with me, this is the way. And you trust them because you think these are relatives. So you are attacked by all sides, by your own karma and by, by the ghosts. And so if there is no benevolent being, just such as the, the ghost king of life or the earth star bodhisattva who would try so mightily to fight away these ghosts, and then you fall any time into hell. Of course, you don't have to remember any of them. Yeah? Uh -huh. yeah. If you have one master, he's good, yes. Just many others don't have. Many others don't have. You know, a lot of people in the world don't have anything. They don't even believe in Jesus or Buddha or Guru Nanak or Mahavira or any good things, many. That's really pitiful. Hmm?